from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, April the 12th, 2022. An Israeli police officer was stabbed by a Palestinian this morning, sustaining light injuries. The incident took place at a building site in the city of Ashkelon, where police said the officer approached the man as he was acting suspiciously to conduct an investigation. While doing so, the man took out a knife and stabbed the officer in the head and tried to stab him again before the officer was able to take out his gun and shoot the attacker who was killed. The officer was taken to the hospital for treatment. Israel Police Commissioner Kobi Shabtai today responded to comments made by Knesset member Ayman Odeh about Arab Israelis serving in Israel's security forces. Odeh, who heads the Joint List Party, on Sunday was seen in a video from the Damascus Gate calling on Arab Israelis serving in Israeli security forces to throw down their weapons and quit, saying they were quote-unquote humiliating their people, referring, he later said, to those forces operating in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. The Times of Israel reports that during a ceremony today of the National Police Academy, Shabtai proudly noted that there were currently 745 Christian, 2,120 Druze, and 1,232 Muslim officers serving in the Israel police who he said have chosen to take part in protecting Israel's security. Shabtai stressed, I won't let anyone smear our Arab police officers. He also paid tribute to Christian Arab Israeli police officer Amir Khouri, who gave his life helping to stop a Palestinian terrorist in B'nai Brak just two weeks ago. Over 100 people gathered last night at the reopening of Ilka Bar in Tel Aviv, the site of a deadly terror attack five days ago that left three people dead and 13 injured. Among those in attendance last night, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, who was cited by the Times of Israel telling other patrons there, I came here tonight to give strength to the bar's owners and local residents. We will not let them, our enemies, stop our lives. We will not let them defeat us. We are returning to life. Bennett also lit a memorial candle at the site for the three victims. Noting the recent wave of terror attacks in Israel, including the stabbing this morning in Ashkelon, the American Jewish Committee continued to ask the public to urge members of Congress to condemn terrorism and reaffirm support for the Jewish state. Well, on the night of the attack in Tel Aviv, the Israel Philharmonic was performing a concert with Israeli singer Idan Reichel in the city. And after news broke of the attack, Reichel asked the orchestra to play Israel's national anthem, Hatikva, in solidarity and in tribute. And the Israel Philharmonic yesterday, together with the American Friends of the Orchestra, released a performance of the traditional song from the Passover Haggadah, Echad Miodea, Who Knows One, with special stop-motion photography bringing the foods on the Seder table to life. <laughs> And just a reminder for you that we will have Passover services and seders from Central Synagogue and from the Hampton Synagogue here on JBS beginning this Friday evening. Taking a look at our programming now for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, April the 12th at 7 o'clock, Rabbi Emil Hirsch connects the Passover story to recent archaeological discoveries and offers a reminder of the ancient connection 
the Jewish people have to their homeland of Israel. At aid, pro-Israel Congressman Richie Torres headlines a diverse group of artists and thinkers in the final program in a series fighting racism and anti-Semitism, celebrating the power of culture and offering perspectives on a shared omni-American future. At 9, Irvin Unger talks about the life and work of illustrator Arthur Schick on L'Chaim. At 10, Pam Cohen and Ephraim Chomiansky discuss the historic struggle of Soviet Jewry with Glenn Richter and Micah Halpern. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, April the 12th, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.